What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can probably see by the title and thumbnail, we're gonna be installing a full extended leather dash and glove box onto my F80 M3 today. This is gonna be a secure orange extended leather dash. I'm super excited to install this. Shout out to my boy Ben. He's actually on the way over here now to help me with the install. His Instagram is shameM3S55. I'll put his Instagram down below as well as in the description. Make sure you guys follow him. Check out his YouTube channel at Shrug Media. Everything will be linked down below. This video wouldn't be possible without him, so huge shout out to you, man. Thank you for all the positive feedback on the mid-pipe video from Active Auto Work. I think everybody likes the new setup. I really love the new setup. But I wanna thank you guys for clicking on this video. This should be a fun one. This is uh, me converting my interior to full secure orange. I would say like part one. Part two with the door cards will be coming soon. That's a little sneak peek for you guys, but I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, hit the bell and subscribe for future content. Now let's get into this one. All right, before Ben gets here, let me show you guys what we're working with today. Here's my equal length mid pipe from Active Auto Work. This is actually sold and the buyer's picking it up today. He's actually local. And then this giant box straight from Germany <laughs> is what we're gonna be installing today. This is the full extended leather dash, uh, secure orange that we're gonna be installing right here. But let me unbox this for you guys and show you guys what's inside. And here's the glove box that I actually picked up off of eBay. So I'll go ahead and unbox both of these for you guys and show you guys what we're working with in three two and one and here we go full OEM extended leather dash you guys can see it it's an immaculate condition I'll have Ben explain a little more on what he thinks about the extended leather dash I think it makes your BMW look more premium especially inside the cabin and then right here we have the glove box that I got off of eBay the glove box is gonna have the red stripe right here it's gonna extend so it's gonna look super super premium shout out to HRE for the new swag. But if you guys are new here and don't really know what's going on, my car is a 2017 F80 competition. I originally had the black merino leather in my car, but as you guys can see here, we did a full secure orange conversion with the seats at least. And then my door cards over here and in the rear are still stock, the black ones. I've been looking for secure orange door cards online for a couple weeks now, probably like a good month. And I finally found some, so those should be coming in probably sometime next week or this week. So stay tuned for that. So once these door cards come in, we'll have a full secure orange interior. The full conversion will be completed. We'll have the new red dials to go along with it. So I think it's gonna look insane. I can't wait to see the finished product. But of course, the icing on the cake is going to be installing this extended leather dash just to go with all the red accents, the new red seats, as well as the door cards when they come in. I think it's gonna be insane. So essentially it's like if you can't spec out your F80 the way you want it from the factory or when you were buying your car, you can make it happen either way <laughs> so i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but look at the quality <laughs> of the extended dash and you guys can see the red stitching right there looks so freaking premium the whole dash up here which i knew but i didn't know like up here is full leather and it's super super high quality and yeah we'll have the red stripe right by the knee of the passenger extend to the glove box right there and I think it's gonna look incredible. This is no easy job though, so that's why he's coming over to help me. There's no way I could probably do this on my own. There's like one video on YouTube that Nor put out, but he had his BMW tech friend as well come over and help him, so. Just wanted to quickly interrupt this video to bring you guys a message from today's sponsor, and that's Simply Carbon Fiber. So Simply Carbon Fiber actually sent me out something super dope, and I had to show you guys. It's actually on my wrist. This is actually their Diablo watch, part of their Apollo series. You guys can see the orange accents with the forged carbon face. We got a nice silver frame around, and then this beautiful gray strap. I think this is perfect for like everyday wear or like casual wear. This is definitely gonna go with a lot of outfits of mine. Absolutely love it. It actually just came in, so I'm definitely gonna be rocking this a lot. But if you guys do me a favor, check out their website at Simply carbonfiber.com use my code FH10 I've been on a huge watch kick lately and this goes perfect with my style and it's exactly what I was looking for so shout out to simply carbon fiber for sponsoring today's video now let's get back into this dash install speak of the devil we got the man the myth oh we got thousands in the house too I didn't even know we got the man the myth the legends here we are what up what up you coming to chill yeah. So we got Towsons pulling up and my boy Ben. Make sure you guys follow him. Shame M3 S55 on Instagram. Yes, sir. I told him to come over, kick it. Got Kona. Wondering who the heck is here. But yeah, I got the dash laid out. We got the boys here. Let's go. Make sure you guys follow the homies. Ben's setting up shop in here. Got all the tools. 
He's got the mats. He got the shoes off. Shoes off. <laughs> Damn, he brought the whole kid over here. All right, my boy Ben, back on the channel. Yes, sir. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? <laughs> Tell the people, fill them in. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what you already may have said, but today we are going to be taking VS M3 and we're going to be making it just a little bit more luxurious. <laughs> No, just kidding, but um, we are going to be installing this full leather dash um, that came out of my M3. I didn't tell him that part yet, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go, there you go. <laughs> it's coming from his car, actually. That's why it's in immaculate condition, so yeah. Hyped about that shit. Hyped, <laughs> hyped. I got everything to make the job possible. Uh, it's going to be very time-consuming, so I'm sure yeah, we'll update you guys as we go along, but uh, this is pretty big. I can't wait to see it in his car. I know it looks good in my car, so I can only imagine how it's going to look on the S car, being that it's black. Obviously, he's going with the black and red theme with the interior, so this is like one of the biggest pieces that you can like add to the car that's really like makes it stand out you know exactly. you have black leather with the red leather with the red stitching so it really makes everything pop so oh yeah makes everything look super premium i was already telling them yeah, facts. and then he already has like i said everything ready to go but we'll keep you guys filled in we got ben working disassembling center console we already took out the ac unit once i get some more of these trim pieces and uh, bolts out we'll be working towards removing the <coughs> center console and then i'll work on uh, removing the ihka and then the cid the center information display after that and then we'll hop over here to the steering wheel uh, remove the airbag uh, remove the steering wheel uh, make sure we have this all the way at the bottom and then start with the cluster and then start removing the airbags from underneath each side and some panels and, uh, and we'll be on our way let's go ben's going to work me and Wing, just chilling. What's next for the car, Wing? Nothing. I need to save money. <laughs> Facts. Facts. I'm broke. Facts. Broke boys. Paris boy. Yeah, Ate <laughs> <Ate> him. <laughs> We're taking the center console out, so we've already disconnected everything. We removed all the bolts uh, required. We've routed everything so that the center console can just come out like so. And then I'm gonna hand it to. Viet ever so carefully. Try not to scratch anything. You are. Yep. And boom. Hold your breath, everybody. Yep, right. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Damn. And the center console's out, baby. I didn't do anything, Ben did all the work. <laughs> that looked like a lot of wires and whatnot to take out, but good shit. Next is the dash, fun time. All right, Ben, so for people that don't know, you are a uh, BMW technician. How do you go about remembering what to do and where everything goes? Honestly, it's just uh, a lot of repetition. So, I mean, I've not specifically done, um, you know, replacements of dash that often. I've done two, um, and plus my personal car, so three. So, at a certain point, you just start to memorize, like, where all the bolts go. They mm -hmm. can only go, like, one way or a certain way. Most of them are uh, T20s, so they're going to be these uh, black bolts like this. Mm -hmm. So, m majority of them are T20s, and then, like, these silver ones here, like, just from memory, I know that these go for the center console. There's only like four of them in total. Mm -hmm. So I know that those only go in a specific spot like that. Like Clock I said, every yeah, day. it's literally just continuously like doing it. I've taken like parts and like components off, um, you know, that surround the dash. Mm -hmm. So that right there already helps me remember. And then obviously I've done the dash, you know, three times. So it just like, it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, you know, it just kind of comes to you, but. Phenomenal answer. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> always best to make sure you keep everything organized to the yeah. best of your ability. Try to remember where everything goes. And then when you're going back together, it'll just be that much more simple. So. Uh, you heard it here first. So I think Ben got everything loosened up. I think the top of the dash is loose now. And then I think they just have a couple more small things in the middle to undo. And then the full dash should come out. Yeah, so I mean, we're, we're pretty much there. Um, everything's loose. You just got this last clip right here. She's going to be a troublemaker. But once that clip comes out, then we just got to make sure all the wires are routed out correctly. And then uh, once everything is routed out correctly, we'll do a couple of test pulls to make sure that everything's free and everything's, uh, you know, not bind, nothing's binding. And then the dash will come out. Oh. Dash is coming out. Slowly. Good. Yep, yep. Shout out to them boys. There it is. Appreciate the help. Mm hmm there she is. Drift car build. Ready. My back. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You guys see it? That shit's crazy. All right. Now that we have the old dash out, Ben, what do we have to do? <clears throat> so now um, what we're going to do is we're going to move his uh, head up display right here, this outer trim. And we're going to mock it up with mine um, because my old one and even my new one now, I don't have a heads up display. So we're going to take this out. We're going to mock it up on um, uh, the one that's going to go in. We're going to make the cutout so that, you know, he can still have his... Um, head up display mm -hmm. then we're going to also transfer over his uh, lighting switch cluster here um, this bottle bottom section uh, panel here uh, this portion the switch and then the ac 
uh, ducts that are right here. Swap those over as well. Mm -hmm. And then the airbag for the upper portion that's right up here. Okay. So once all right. that's off and swapped over to the new dash, then we'll be ready to put her back in and start putting everything back together. Nice. Put this there. Put this here. Per every BMW installation or DIY, what what happens? Uh, I fucked up. We run into road, <laughs> we run into roadblocks. Yeah, into roadblocks. Uh, but it's okay. We're gonna get through them. We're gonna get through them. We're gonna get through them. Uh, Wayne, what are we doing right now? I fucked up. I you know like look, I just cut into his dash like that. No, I'm just messing. So we we got the template laid out. Wayne got mad. He stabbed the dash <laughs> <laughs> with a pen. Yeah. So I got the template as close as possible, and I'm gonna cut small. What's going on actually? Because I don't think they know why oh, we're cutting. So Ben's dash is non heads up display yeah and uh yours is we drew up the template off of that and we're cutting this perfectly good dash and Beautiful. it's still going to be perfectly good after we're done cutting <laughs> i had to sit down for a second my back is broken but uh we got the template exactly we're about to start going ham egg and cheese we're gonna make the cuts we're gonna make everything look good oem look at that template piece of paper and a highlighter and an exacto knife <laughs> an exacto knife we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work but just to show you guys this is my old dash and right there is a big cutout for the uh heads up display so what jonathan did was he traced the outline <laughs> and we're gonna make a small hole and work our way outside making it bigger and bigger but we're gonna start small of course and yeah this is uh dr wing performing surgery on this I wish. beautiful dash bro i wish we wouldn't have beamers with that portion. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this. Exactly. We'd be paying people to do this. What? The first cut? The first cut? Let's see. There it oh, is. Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. Yo, the conversation is going to be wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Exactly. A few moments later. Go ahead, wait. No, 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 that's all you, bro. What happened? What happened? You're the tech. You're the tech. You're the tech. Well, we told them we were gonna cut a hole to match just for the heads-up display, but I don't think they they saw this progress yet. <clears throat> hey, you guys killed it. I'm not gonna lie. So we cut the hole for the uh, head-up display, and so the cover that actually covers this entire section here up to these points um, pretty much goes in here and then it clips down onto it. So <clears throat> we're not too worried about how much we mar up this section because we know it's gonna get covered, but we had to drill those holes and remove these little pins right here because it was a little bit too uh, thick. Yep. So we took these off and because the leather and the foam that's in there is so thick, um, once we just push these plastic tabs in through the leather, down through the foam and all the other stuff, it'll be nice and snug and then we should be good to go for our final test fit inside the car, <laughs> making sure that everything's good to go with the heads up display. Yep. And then we can put the car back together. <laughs> All right. I want to give the update. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, looks good now. Yeah, so so we made a hole. We cut around. Uh, we did small incisions at a time. And as you guys can see right there, work of art by the boys. That shit looks OEM. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks OEM. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but... You guys see that the edges all around are nice and flush. You guys don't see any jankiness. And you guys saw how straight the lines were underneath before. I mean, if you don't have a heads up display, you know who to call. But this honestly took us a couple hours to figure out. Not gonna lie, this was a pain in the buttocks. But shout out to Wayne and shout out to Ben. They power through, and then uh, all that we have left to do is uh, bend to put the test in, <laughs> and we'll be here to assist him, yo. Big shout outs, big shout outs. But yeah, super happy with this turnout. It actually looks amazing. Anything to say? Let's get it in. <laughs> yeah, all right. It it's been hours, it's been hours, yo. No way, what just happened? It, it slipped right in. <laughs> slipped in like it was wet. <laughs> Censor that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Gotta push her back. Hours, boys. Hours. Shout out to these two, for real. Can't believe we got it, right? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> the amount of cutting, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Custom fab work, yo. Custom. What all Ben is doing now is buttoning everything up, making sure the dash is connected, and then we're gonna hit the wiring, which is a lot of wiring, and then the center console. Already, the red stripe over here and over there look insane. Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Not my car, I mean. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. If he makes another video next week and he's talking about he hearing some rattles, well, we'll know what it was. <laughs> it's a little late in the afternoon. Ben, my boy, is buttoning up uh, the dash right now. But make sure you guys support him. And follow him on Instagram. Make sure you guys support him on YouTube as well at Shrug Media. Is beautiful. F80.
competition. And then we have Jonathan Wang Towsons. He's about to head out. Huge shout out to him for the help today as well. Make sure you guys follow him. This is his Instagram. Make sure you guys follow him and check him out on YouTube as well. Everything will be linked in the description below. Shout out to you, my guy. <laughs> we'll be seeing you. See you later. All right, final update for you guys. And also the reveal. <laughs> it's been a, uh, I would say a good nine to 10 hours and Ben has finally wrapped up the extended dash again. Shout out to Ben, shout out to Wayne for coming through and sacrificing their Sunday to help me put this dash in. You guys see it though. Red stripe right there looks premium. That's it, final touches. That's it. That's all she wrote. Just like that guys, it's a fucking wrap. We are tired. Tired. It's been a day. It's been a day. But like Ben said, he wasn't leaving here without the job completed. Exactly. And you guys can see it right there. All red. Everything. Cluster. Dash. Looks dash, so dash. sick. Let me show you guys the other side real quick. Even on the driver's side, you guys can see the red accents right there. Goes perfect with the cluster wheel buttons. Damn, that looks hard. Duh. And like I said in the beginning of this video, the door cards should be coming in this week as well. So stay tuned for that. Y'all do me a favor though. Not only follow my boy, subscribe to his YouTube channel, Shrug Media. They putting out dope BMW content. Let's Trying go. to keep up with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, put that up to your head. What, what do you got right there? <laughs> Looks like a giant ass phone, bro. But, yeah. So this is a... Um, BMW M2 competition, uh, six piston front and the four piston rear brake calipers um, that I will be putting on my F80 M3 uh, for track purposes. Okay. I haven't even put out the video on these yet, but we'll give yeah. you guys a sneak peek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you heard it here first. These things are massive. Yeah, they're they're absolutely massive. OEM BMW yeah. M2 competition uh, brake calipers, the red that came on the CSs. Yep. So they won't be this color for too much longer, but you guys will have to come over to my channel to see uh, yeah. what goes on next. But that is, that's those bad boys right there. So cold start. Hey, P, don't play, boy. Y'all see the wheel too, but my boy, drive safe. Thank you, every, Hi, brother. Thank you Thanks for everything. Dash. You guys will be seeing him very soon. Thanks. You guys already know. Let me know what you guys think. That is gonna be a wrap for this video. Extended dash looks insane. But I went for my first initial drive in the cockpit and just from the two sides being red and the whole dash being leather on top with the red accents, it literally just felt so premium. I've said that a thousand times in this video but that's exactly how it feels. It feels like you're driving an actual luxury sports car and I just can't wait to tie it in with the door cars that should be coming in probably Thursday or so. So, so stay tuned for that video. We'll probably install it this weekend. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, do me a favor guys. Make sure you guys follow Ben and Jonathan. I'll have their Instagram and YouTube channels linked in the description below. Without them, this dash wouldn't have been possible, so I owe it to them. I absolutely love this dash. It is such a game changer inside the cabin. It looks insane. You actually can't find one of these extended dashes anywhere. So I really lucked out by having Ben give me his old one, so I'm super grateful. It's freaking insane. Make sure you guys drop a like though. Comment down below what you guys think about the dash. Subscribe for future content. Hit the bell, follow me on Instagram, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, peace. <laughs>